So now we're going to focus on DNA replication, which is a process whereby DNA creates its copy. So um, this process here, the DNA created its identical copy, right? Um, so here we have the first stage of the DNA replication where we have our DNA, right? Which is double helix. So what happens is here, this DNA unwinds. So basically you can just say it unzips. So if you have a jacket and you lower your zip, you are unzipping your jacket, right? So this is what happens to the DNA. It unzips at this point. And then what happens is an enzyme called helix helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds so here we are having hydrogen bonds that are broken down by this enzyme which i call a helicase so an enzyme called helicase is responsible for breaking down this bond here then here at number three we can see now that the bond has been broken down in all um nitrogenous bases right so what's going to happen is there will be free nitrogenous bases that are moving around which will start bonding to the, the dna template so what's going to happen is as this bond breaks one of these dna is going to be a template so let's say this is going to be a template so this is going to be a template so this template is going to bond with these free nitrogenous bases that are moving around so as they bond here at number four that's where now the bonding starts to take place as, as you can see here so each nitrogenous base bonds with a dna template right so that's what happens here so the Now, once these um, bonds are created, then in number five, we will have two identical DNA molecules that are formed. But one thing you need to note is there are errors that occur during DNA replication, which number one may lead to mutation which changes which is actually the changes that happen in the nitrogenous bases so these mutations may be caused by it can be environmental conditions which one of them can be uv light another can be um, cigarette smoke so if you're smoking cigarette it's also going to cause some mutations during this um, cell division. So um, most mistakes are corrected by what we call DNA polymerase. So this DNA is responsible by proofreading the bases that were added so that it makes sure that whatever error that was created is restored. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.